<sighs> Been a while. Oh, a little rusty. Hello! So my friends, it is the middle of September. It is finally not 90 degrees in Massachusetts. So that means that all the earth-toned hobbits, such as myself, are rejoicing. It is finally getting close to autumn. My body is ready. So much like last year, I went on a very large vintage and thrift haul for autumn clothes because although it only lasts maybe a month, you wouldn't know it because my whole wardrobe is basically autumn. I feel like I need something to sip. That's better. What was I talking? So yes, this is a thrift slash vintage haul. So I went thrifting yesterday at Savers, and then I also have a bunch of items from various shops on Etsy. So I have a mix of vintage and then kind of more modern pieces. I'm kind of going through a transformation in my wardrobe where I know exactly what I want and what I want my wardrobe to look like. So I'm starting to phase out some of my older pieces that I don't wear anymore and they just sit in my closet. So at some point I will be donating and selling a bunch of my clothes that I don't want. So I guess we can get started with the vintage Etsy things and then move on to the thrifted stuff after. Dun, 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 dun. Looks so dark, all you can see is his little beady eyes, ready? So the first item that I got, oh, it feels like such a long time since I've said that. So the first item that I got is this kind of tweed skirt and it is originally from Saks and Fifth Avenue, uh, 1970s, I believe. And it has this lining underneath, which is good because I have a few wool skirts that do not have that lining, and let me tell you, damn it, G. That's all I gotta say about that. Another joke that I've used probably 5,000 times on this channel. <laughs> Next up is this adorable little, where's the pockets? Nope. Okay. Where? Okay. It's this adorable little corduroy maroon skirt. It was definitely a lot more maroon in the listing than it is in real life. It's definitely more of like a burnt mahogany. mahogany. It's still really cute. I never know how to stop talking about an item. In conclusion, this skirt is wonderful. Next up, this sweater, I believe it's from the 1970s. It's a little itchy. <laughs> I just thought the collar was really stinking cute and something that I haven't really seen before. It's a little unflattering, so I did throw this vest on it just to kind of slim things down. Next up are items that I got from Poppycock Vintage on Etsy. So first up, I got this rayon skirt. So it's just this super simple olive green skirt, as you can see. Don't know if I need to describe the colors to you, but you know, uh, it's very wrinkly because I just took it out of the package and I love it. Next up from her shop is this amazing black velvet skirt. Do you have pockets? <gasps> you do! No, wait, do you? Yes! Perfect for spooky time. So last up from her shop is this amazing blouse. Holy shiz. The sleeves, the collar. I'm gonna feel like Lestat, and I'm gonna be so happy about it. So kind of as a natural segue from that, we can talk about this baby. So at Savers, I knew that I had just ordered a bunch of skirts. So I wanted to focus on getting more tops and blouses and sweaters. 
and I didn't want to buy anything that I wasn't absolutely in love with because sometimes when I go thrifting I just grab stuff and then I never end up actually wearing it and it gets donated anyways so this time I wanted to focus on stuff that I really liked also it seems like the prices were going up a bit which is kind of sucky I used to be able to get a lot of shirts for three dollars or four dollars but lately everything is $8.99 or $10. So first up I got this amazing tweed jacket and it's originally from Talbot's and this was $13. And Nick said I looked like Sherlock Holmes in it so obviously it went right into my cart. Just adorable, <laughs> let me tell you. Next up from Savers, just this super simple boat neck, I think is what you call these. Not quite turtleneck. This is originally from Mondi and it was $3. It's comfy, simple, goes with pretty much all the skirts that I just bought, so that's good. Next up from Savers is this Wool flannel, originally from Old Navy. This was $4. I just love flannels, they're nice and cozy. I don't have enough flannels. All in all, that is why I bought this shirt. How am I doing? This one was a little bit more expensive. This was $7.49, but the sleeves. If I gotta pay $7.49 to feel a little bit like Stevie Nicks, you know I'm gonna do it. So this was $7 originally by Laura Scott. So this shirt actually kind of hurts your eyes in person and I knew on camera it would be even worse. So you know. I figured I'll just wear it when I don't want anyone to look at me. So I can just walk down the street and then people will be like, oh! It's just black and white stripes, which just screams fall and Tim Burton to me, so. Next up was $6, which is a totally modern top. I just love the neckline and I think it'll go really nice with skirt. I think this is Forever 21. This is like their new fancy way of saying, wow, my nails are horrible. I am so sorry. This is why I don't paint my nails, folks. <laughs> this is their fancy new way of saying that they're Forever 21. I don't know. And songs about my only true. You've had lots of songs about chrysanthemums and songs about daffodils. Next up was 349. Up and tags. Okay. And it's just this simple sweater from International Concepts. But it has these kind of ruched sleeves, which I think gives it a little bit of a retro feel and also kind of Kylo Ren. <laughs> and last up from Savers. Are these pair, these, this pair of shoes gets me every time, I swear. I think you would call them brogues, I think. Uh, these were $9. The laces are all sorts of fluffed up. I don't know who tied these, but they're just awful. Yeah, they're cute. I don't know. <laughs> So that is it. That is everything that I got recently. Fridge is trying to communicate with the aliens. Now that fall has commenced, I have a bunch of Halloween videos and tutorials planned. Hopefully I have enough time to do so because I have a lot of big plans every year and then don't really get to execute them because of timing and my job and stuff. So hopefully this year we'll see if things change. All right, well that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I don't know. <laughs> Come here. 
coat. I love you so much whether you're new or old to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. Everybody's dancing. I wanted to focus this thrifting trip. I wanted to focus this thrifting trip. Thrifting trip. I wanted to focus this thrifting trip on. No, nope, there's still some hesitation there. I wanted to focus this thrifting trip on. Nope, I was so focused on getting that right. Now I forget what I was gonna say. Next up from Savers. Whoa, whoa. I swear. I swear it's puppies. Look, puppies. You see them? Oh, puppies. Got him. <laughs> oh my god. Why don't you do red?